Now we are going to go further and I'm going to create some functions and let's create a function called uh, order item. All right, and you int um, item ID and string item name are going to be the parameters of this function and then it's going to returns it's going to be public so that everybody else is going to um, have access to this function and it's going to return an address so this address is actually going to be our unique id which is going we are going to return and the way we are going to do that is um, we are going to create address a new variable called unique id is equal to address of sha256 of msg.sender and now all right and it's going to give us error <laughs> um, yeah it's not equal here so it's not going to give us error and uh, what we have done now is we have um, created a SHA-256 of the msg.sender which is the address of the person who is order executing this function and current time timestamp so that this unique ID is going to be a really unique ID and it cannot be um, duplicated because if two persons are going to order at one time then MSG will be different but if one single person is going to order then the current timestamp is going to be different so SHA-256 key is all, always going to be different for every order all right and one more thing guys if you don't follow it just go to my uh, solidity tutorial series that I explained to you in the first uh, introduction of this video series and look for the references if you don't understand and please comment below if you don't understand as well all right and now we have uh, uh, generated a unique id and what we are going to do now we are going to create a new mapping of the unique id and the package all right and the way we are going to do that is mapping of address to package and we are going to say that package mapping all right and we are going to use this package mapping here to fill out all of the uh, these variables corresponding to the unique id that is generated here all right so first we are going to put uh, package mapping of unique id dot is unique id generated we are going to set it to true because this unique id is generated here and this unique id is now authentic so we set it to true then we are going to set item id item name then transit status and order status all right so package mapping of unique id dot um, item id is equal to this item id here and similarly package mapping of um, unique id dot item name is equal to underscore item name then we are going to set the status of the uh, package which is going to be dot transit status is equal to um, your 
package is ordered and is under processing all right so the package mapping is done now and sorry the transit status is done now and now we are going to put the order status so package mapping of unique id dot um, order status we are going to set it to zero because it is ordered now all right um let's do it like this is equal to one is equal to two is equal to three and is equal to four because the uh the de default value of any uint is zero so let's put it as one and order status is done now and now we are going to set this customer and order time so package mapping of unique id dot um order time or let's put the customer first is equal to msg dot sender which is the address of the person who is executing this contract and now package mapping of unique id dot order time um, is equal to now now is the current timestamp all right and then return um, unique id and that's how we are going to do it and let me put it like this so this is um order item function and we are going to end the order item function here in here so that we have a, a nice program and it is compiled now because I set it to auto compile and I'm going to deploy it to see whether it works here and it says that order item uh, function is here and one more thing is remaining is we are going to put it to public so that uh, anyone can actually view the package mapping all right um, mapping public all right and we have it here and i'm going to deploy it and it says that i have here item id and item name so let's put one two three as item id and uh, let's order iphone and transact and it says transaction is completed and if you go into the receipt here go down and there is a decoded output here you can copy this address here and paste it here and you can use this address because this address is the unique id that is generated by returning the unique id here and you can go to package mapping then address and put the address here and call it to see uh, that unique id is generated here is equal to true true it's set to true item id is one two three uh, item name is iphone and it says that transit status is package is order and uh, is under processing which is here and order status is one which is here um, address of customer is here and order time is current timestamp so this address is the address from which it is uh, executed the function is executed so if you see here uh, it starts with 0x4b and you see that 0x4b and it's ending with 2db and 2db all right so yeah uh, we have managed to order the item and set uh, the values here now